Number 37, we have 9 over 7m equals 1 over 7. Notice we only have fractions, and they both have the same denominator of 7. When that happens, there's a shortcut we can use. But first, I'm going to rewrite 9 over 7m as 9m over 7. Now, what I'm going to do is simply cross out my denominators, which will leave me with 9m equals 1. I can only do this when all I have in my equation are fractions and the denominators are the same. So now I will solve the 9m equals 1. Since 9 is next to m, to get m by itself, I have to do the inverse operation. When it's next to it, it means multiply. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I divide both sides by 9. When I divide by 9, I'll end up with 1 over 9, which equals m. And that would be the answer to number 37. Number 38, it is just asking me to solve the equation, which means in this one, I'm getting x by itself. So if I cover up the term with the x, I see that to get that by itself, I have to move this negative 4 to the other side. And what this negative 4 is actually doing is subtracting this negative x. So the opposite of subtracting is addition. So I add 4 to both sides. So doing so, I'll get negative 4 plus 4, which is 0. And I'm left with negative x on this side. Then 9 plus 4 is 13. Now, x is not by itself yet. There's this negative on it. To get rid of the negative, just change both the signs, you'll have x equals negative 13 as my answer for number 38. 39, it says solve the equation. So I have this 6 next to the x, and this whole term needs to be by itself first. So if I could cover that up, there is a 3 keeping all of that from being by itself. Now, what the 3 is doing to it is adding to it. And since it's in the front, I have to look at the sign, which is positive. So I can only move it by adding or subtracting, but since I just said it is positive in the front, I've got to do the opposite of that, which is subtraction. So I subtract 3 from both sides. Negative 21 minus 3 is negative 24 equals 6x. Since there is a 6 next to the x, that means 6 is being multiplied to x. To undo that multiplication, I divide. So I have to divide both sides by 6. So negative 24 divided by 6 gives me negative 4. So x equals negative 4 for number 39. Number 41, I have 29 equals x over 7 plus 3. The first thing that stands out to me here is this x over 7. So I need to move everything away from that. So if I cover that up, I see 3 is being added to it. So to undo that addition, the opposite of addition is subtraction. So I subtract 3 from both sides. 29 minus 3 is 26. So 26 equals x over 7. Since 7 is at the bottom, it means it is being divided. To undo that division, we have to multiply, since that's the opposite of division. So, cross out the 7 and bring it to the other side and multiply it to 26. Bring the x down, since that's all that's left, and that is equal to 7 times 26, which is 182. So my answer for number 41 is 182. Number 43, k minus 2 over 3 equals 12. I notice this at the bottom. To get it out of the fraction, I have to multiply because being at the bottom means it's dividing. So I cross that out and bring it to the other side. I bring down everything that's left on the left side, and that's the k minus 2. I set that equal to 12 times 3, which is 36. Then I notice that to get k by itself, I have to move this minus 2. And the opposite of minusing 2 is adding 2. So I add 2 to both sides, and I get k equals 38. So my answer for number 43 is going to be 38. Number 44, I notice that once again, I have two fractions set equal to each other where the denominators are the same. So I can simply notice that the denominators could be crossed out. So that will give me just g minus 6 equals 7. Since g is being subtracted from 6, I can do the opposite by adding 6, and I'll get g equals 13. So my answer for 44 is going to be 13. For number 46, 
to get this 10m by itself, I have to move to 3.5, and I do that by subtracting since it's positive in the front and it's being added or subtracted from the 10m. So subtracting 3.5 from both sides leaves me with 10m equals 2.73. Now the 10 and the m are being multiplied to each other. To undo that multiplying, I divide. So I divide both sides by 10. That leaves me with m equals 0 0.273, 46. Number 47. I notice to solve this equation that there's a pair of like terms, 7x and minus 5x. Combining them gives me 2x. 7 minus 5 is 2. So then, to get this 2x by itself, I have to move this 3, which is being added to this, so the opposite of adding is subtracting. So I subtract 3 from both sides. So 17 minus 3 would be 14, equaling 2x. Since the 2 is next to the x is being multiplied, to undo the multiplying, I divide. So I divide both sides by 2, and x will equal 7. So my answer for 47 is just going to be 7. For number 48, I again have a pair of like terms. So I combine my like terms and I get 5b because this is a 1 in front and 1 plus 4 is 5. So I have 5b minus 7 equals 30. The opposite of subtracting since 7 is being subtracted from 5b is going to be adding. So I add 7 to both sides and I get 37. 5 is being multiplied to b since it's next to it and the opposite of multiplying is dividing so I divide both sides by 5 and that can't be reduced 37 over 5 so my answer is going to be 37 over 5. For problems like number 49 when there are variables on both sides of the equal sign I like to move the smallest variable first which in this case it's negative 4y compared to the 7y. So since the 4y, negative 4y is being subtracted, I have to add it to both sides. So I add 4y to both sides. 7y plus 4y would be 11y minus 9 equals 24. Now I have 9 being subtracted from 11y, so the opposite of subtraction is addition. So I have to add 9 to both sides. So 24 plus 9 will give me 33. Now since the 11 is next to the y, it means it's being multiplied. So to move the 11, I need to do the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing. So 33 divided by 11 will be 3. So y equals 3 for number 49. 51. First thing I need to do is distribute the parentheses on both sides of the equal sign. So I have 11 times x, then 11 times negative 5. And then I have 10 times x, and then 10 times 5. So I have 11x minus 55 on this side and 10x plus 50 on this side because 10 times 5 is 50, 11 times negative 5 is negative 55. Now I, like the last problem, start by moving my smallest variable. In this case it's 10. And since 10 is in the front and it's positive, I need to subtract it from both sides to undo the addition going on here. So 11x minus 10 it's just x minus 55 equals 50. 55 is being subtracted from x, so the opposite of subtraction is addition. So I add 55 to both sides, and I get 105. So my answer for number 51 is 105.